everyone, Irit here and I have another art journaling process for you. So I started with this one with something kind of different. If you're familiar with these dot cards, uh, there are a few companies that make them and this is actually a really great way of trying out uh, artist grade watercolor color, color <laughs> which can be quite pricey. And uh, this way, if you get these dot cards, you can try out the colors and see which ones you like before you commit to a tube of paint. So Daniel Smith is an example of a company that creates these. Schminke came out with them also, which is great. Uh, I think Holbein makes them, but I haven't uh, seen that uh, available uh, to me in Europe. And I think those are the ones that I know of. So um, so this one I'm using is from Daniel Smith, but it's actually a custom palette that Jane Davenport uh, curated or chose her favorite colors. And she has some uh, representatives there of also their Primatech watercolors. And it's a beautiful palette. It's a, a little bit different than what you uh, probably got used to seeing uh, here, um, which is, you know, a lot of bright colors. I'm always very drawn to that. But these are beautiful colors, and I think I have almost all of them um, because they are so beautiful, and I use them um, when I do some watercolor painting. Less, I've in recently used less um, my artist watercolors in my art journaling, but... Um, yeah, it's, it's just because I've been trying out all kinds of things, like the Dr. P.H. Martin, um, not because I'm saving them. Uh, I love to use all my supplies in my art journal. So I started with spraying that dot card and then applying it like, I don't know, like a stamp or something to my page, but it only released a little bit of paint. Uh, but that was a good starting point. You know, sometimes it's just really hard to... Uh, start and you're not sure where or how and this kind of gave me a uh, direction or just something to build on and I really love the uh, turquoise colors um, in this palette and uh, that maroon color is beautiful I love using that also in my paintings and that touch of green um, I probably wouldn't have chosen that on my own but um, it looks beautiful so that's me just playing around I think this was actually already into uh, a session of uh, art journaling and I was just making 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 and having a great time and this is a few days later this is uh, dry and I'm just working in this journal I've had uh, I did kind of or added stuff to a few other pages and now I decided I wanted to finish this because it's been kind of unfinished in my uh, journal for um, yeah as I said a few days now maybe a week so I decided just to uh, draw some I don't know I guess roses uh, around just some of the darker spots in my background that I have here and this was just a lot of fun it's really relaxing to do something like this because you know there's not a lot of thinking I kind of have already that random pattern on and I'm just using that as the base and just basically adding the same thing maybe I varied a little bit the flowers but mostly it's just um, kind of the same just changing up the size according to, I don't know, what I feel like or what I can imagine the stains of watercolors uh, look like. And I'm using the Jane Davenport uh, Incredible Pen, uh, which I love. It's really, really lovely to write with. And the ink that comes with it is actually water reactive. So it's also um, fun if you add water after you use it but in this case I didn't I kind of stopped um, 
I guess relatively early. I just didn't feel it needed a lot more. I had those roses and then I stopped. I didn't want to add any more. And then I just added some journaling. And the last thing I did was to add just some um, finishing touches in white, just scribbling something. And you see me working. My uh, desk is actually covered in, uh, it's called news print paper or newspaper or something like that. It's just, um, you know, the same type of paper that uh, newspapers are printed on. And I have these huge sheets of this and they are really absorbent and lovely. And I, I'm hoping to use them, you know, in my art journal um, just as interesting elements to add in a collage or something. But watching this, it makes me think that I need to um, replace it because this one looks kind of full. But it's really great because I can always clean my brushes on it and stamp off on it. And because it's so absorbent, it dries almost instantaneously. So I don't have, um, you know, paint everywhere. So that's it. A uh, fast one today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe and all that stuff. Um, and share with others that you think will enjoy this video. Yeah, that's it. Bye.